Hey everybody, continuing on with the month of Noir November, we move on to the 1956 movie, The Killer is Loose, starring Joseph Cotton, Rhonda Fleming, and Wendell Corey. Now during a bank robbery, bank teller Leon Poole, as played by Wendell Corey, tries and fails to stop the robbers. The policeman on the case, led by Detective Sam Wagner, Joseph Cotton, soon deduced that it was an inside job and learned from a wiretap that was Leon Poole's idea. Catching up to him at his apartment where he starts doing it, where he starts shooting at the police, they go in with guns blazing. However, in the process, Sam accidentally shoots Leon's wife, whom they had been told was not there, and Leon is caught without any further fight. As he blames Sam for his wife's death, even though Sam was cleared, he threatens to get even with him. After being a well-behaved prisoner for a few years, Leon is sent to a state honor farm. When one of the guards requires his help with a load of produce, he takes advantage and kills the guard, making his escape. Sam is brought in, as he is assumed to be Leon's target. However, as Leon gets by the roadblocks and into the city, they learn from his former cellmate that his target is not Sam, but his wife, Lila, as played by Rhonda Fleming. So Sam tries his best to keep that fact from Lila, since she knows about Leon's escape and believes Sam to be the target. Poole manages to keep ahead of the police and slowly racks up a body count, forcing Sam to offer himself as the target while he tries to keep Lila away from the whole matter. Now, me personally, I think this movie has, is a bit of a, a relevance due to its message on bullying. I mean, when we first meet him, when we first meet Leon Poole, he ends up talking to a sergeant, Otto Flanders, as played by John Larch, who would apparently humiliate him in the army by giving him the nickname Foggy because he couldn't really see very well without his glasses. Now, as Leon would later admit, everybody laughed at him. Everybody, that is, except his wife. Apparently, losing her was enough to send him over the edge. Now, Wendell Corey does a great job with the character. On the one hand, giving us a guy who doesn't seem like he should be a threat, but at the same time showing that even a mild-mannered bumbler can be a threat when pushed too far, and everybody around him suffers for it. Now, of course, the rest of the cast is no slouch either. Joseph Cotton does great as Sam Wagner, who does the job because it's what he wants to do, but at the same time, he still tries to accommodate his wife, even taking a desk job as a compromise. Alan Hale Jr. gets to be involved a little as the Sergeant Denny Denning, but it's uh, Rhonda Fleming who gives a great performance as Lila. On the one hand, it's easy to sympathize with her as she wants her husband to be safe, but on the other... We can see her getting on everybody's nerves as she doesn't like her life being changed and has a hard time understanding what her husband is going through, as she can only seem to think of herself. It's only really when one of her friends tells her off that everything sinks in. Even then she still has to get herself into trouble. While I have seen Baron Wars, I still would recommend this one and it's, I have come to enjoy watching it every now and then. This movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Classic Flix. What more can I say? The restoration of this movie looks fantastic. I tried this movie mostly because of what I had seen before from them, and it was well worth it. So I would indeed recommend their release of the movie. Now, the movie itself is about 1 hour and 13 minutes in length. Well, that's all I have to say on this one, everybody. Thanks for listening, and I hope you'll keep coming back for more.